exploring the hidden power of dreams and the world around him. This is the driving force behind the art of Richard Cronin. An artist of boundless curiosity, his work displays the dazzling and colorful possibilities that reside in the everyday world around us. Color has always been important to me. I consider it to be the emotional framework that I hang my ideas on. I like to juxtaposition hard line against soft blended colors. I like the contrast between the two. He shows us a new kind of reality, which is both familiar to our eyes and provocative to our subconscious. I like to call my particular style narrative surrealism as opposed to just surrealism because I feel my paintings have a story to tell and that each painting is like a window onto that world and while you're viewing it you're taking a little journey through that world. With an original and fascinating vision expressed in dynamic ways which engage our imagination, he asks us to participate in the process by allowing us to create our own responses and meanings to what we see. I live in the middle of the city, but I love to go hiking on weekends and I love to uh, be out in nature. Sometimes when I'm drawing or painting, I need to take references from nature. So I have to go out into nature and draw a real leaf. Then when I come home, I stylize that leaf. And then it goes into a painting like my new painting, The Woods, where you'll see the leaf in the center of the tree. It's not in the tree, at the top of the tree, the way a leaf usually would be. It's in the center of the tree embedded in it because it's part of the tree. I have a personal set of symbols that I like to use in my artwork that represent very personal things to me, such as the ladder. The ladder represents to me a way of climbing up to things that are outside of our reach. It's sort of a metaphor for the magical. If I put it in the sky, it's our way of traveling in the sky through our imagination. In a personal style that developed over the years, Richard Cronin began to concentrate less on the outside world for inspiration as he found new ways of expressing his personal vision. When I paint, I go to a place inside myself that's so private that what I'm done sometimes I don't even know three or four hours has passed. I overlap images because I'm trying to show that there's a unity in nature. The Indians say that we all live in the web of life and that we're all connected, all living things that walk, swim, crawl, or fly. Ever evolving, Richard Cronin's art portrays his ongoing exploration of the metaphysical dimensions, which lie hidden yet tantalizing within our everyday perceptions. My trip to Hong Kong had a strong influence on my work for a while. Seeing the ancient ideas living side by side of the modern, I mean, you'd see an old part of the city that was hundreds of years old, and you'd see a modern skyscraper right next door. When I heard the story of Hong Kong Harbor, that it had a uh, dragon made of wind that held it together. I wanted a painting to represent that. And the reason I did that is because a lot of Hong Kong didn't exist. They had to fill in the bay with garbage and to make the landfill. So I'm showing through surrealism what they say in their stories and their mythology. At times, filled with more questions than answers, his paintings are a dazzling voyage of sensual color and startling symbolism, alive with exuberant emotions. I would hope after people have seen my work that they would come away knowing that I care a lot about nature, that I see the world with a little bit of a slant, but I'm having fun, and engage their imagination for a while, take them on a ride.